Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to make a balloon bee. This will be a super duper easy peasy balloon animal tutorial. Let's get right into the video. So that's right, this will be an easy balloon animal tutorial. If you want to learn how to make balloon animals like a bumblebee, this is the video for you. All that you need is a modeling balloon like this. Now mine has these indents in it because I've already made the balloon bee out of this modeling balloon. So with that being said, that yours is gonna be nice and straight when you inflate it, but because I was practicing with this, it already has the shape to it. Now, <clears throat> when you inflate your modeling balloon, you wanna leave a little bit at the end uninflated. That's gonna be the stinger side. Um, now, this is a little bit excess um, in terms of what I left uninflated because it deflated a little bit uh, over the last couple of days as I was practicing. So you probably only wanna leave just a little bit at the end uninflated, probably like maybe two inches at the maximum. Okay, so that being said, this is how you make your balloon, uh, your balloon animal bee. On this side over here, you wanna start off by twisting um, probably about, I'd say like two inches to two and a half inches. Um, you wanna leave that um, on the end here and then make a twist like that. So about two to two and a half inches, as you can see, I've twisted off like that, okay? Now essentially what we're gonna do, you need to plan this out to, to make it a little bit easier. There's a way to do it without this, without twisting the middle, but I do it with twisting the middle. It just makes it a little bit easier to do. It's more geared towards beginners like myself and like yourselves, I'm assuming, okay? Now we're gonna be twisting a, a smaller piece on this end, okay? And about halfway, you want, you want to make a twist about halfway of what is remaining. So right here, as you can see, there's a fold right here, right? That's where I want to make a twist before I twist this end over here. So I'm going to make a twist over here. Keep my hand over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that twist like this, okay? Now, like I said, mine had a little bit of an indent to it because I had already twisted it. Okay, so as you can see, I've twisted about halfway there. I have the head of the bumblebee over here and we're gonna have the tail of the bumblebee over here. So I wanna do a little bit of a smaller twist because the tail is gonna be slightly smaller than the head. So I'm probably gonna do about an inch and a half over here, twisting it off like that. And that's gonna be the stinger. Now, like I said, this, it's a little bit excessive, the amount that I've left, but very, very simple. Now what we're gonna do is very simple. We are going to twist the head and the tail together like this. So essentially I'm gonna get those two twists and I'm just gonna twist them together. It doesn't have to be many times, but you do want them to be on the opposite side, right? So I'm gonna twist them and I'm gonna, I want them to be on the opposite side. So as you can see right here, we're starting to form it right now. That's going to be the head. That's going to be the uh, the actual tail with the stinger. And then all we need to do now is, um, is, is fold this over. Now it is a little bit over inflated on this part. So you wanna make sure you probably deflate it a little bit less than this, right? It's a little bit tight, but I should still be able to do it. It shouldn't pop, it shouldn't have a problem, okay? But make sure you, you don't over inflate the balloon or you make the air you know, travel to the outside a little bit more because you're gonna have to twist this. So now we're gonna fold it and we're gonna twist this middle twist with these twists over here. You just need to twist it once, okay? Now you will have to give it the tiniest bit of a stretch and there you have it. Here is our B, okay? You could just shape it so it looks good. But as you can see right here, let's flip that around. Here's our B. You have the head of the B, you have the tail with the stinger, and you have the, um, I was gonna call them the, the flappers. We have the wings, okay? And that's it, that is how to make a balloon animal B. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.